Hi there, in this video, I'll show you how you can use the voiceover feature in 11 Labs. But before I continue, there are a few things that I must clarify. Here, in this video, we are going to be focusing only with the voiceover tool. And that means we are not going to be covering things like speech-to-speech -to -speech tool or translation or voice transcribing. No, we are not going to be using that. So this is only for creating a voiceover content. For example, you could have a video and in that video, there is a narration. But you can change the narrator, you can even change the voice or even the script of that video. And then later, you can output or export a video with a different narration. So that's basically the basic of voiceover in 11 Labs. Now, with that being said, you can log in with your account and then navigate the studio and then click create a voiceover. And by the way, there is actually the legacy version of voiceover, but I'm not going to be covering that. This is only for the alpha version of voiceover. Now click create a voiceover. And after that, I do recommend to give the project a name. Let's say I'm going to call this one my voiceover. There we go. Now uh, I'm going to upload a video. And for this demonstration, I'll use this video from Zach D Films and I actually have downloaded a file to my computer. So I'll just click upload and select that video. It is a short video. And my goal here is I'm going to change the narration of the video. And also I'm going to be using a different voice. So let's say it could be recreating the content again, but the audio and also the script will be different. I'll wait until the video is uploaded and I guess I'm going to play the video for a few seconds just to make sure that it is actually uh, working fine. When a doctor gives you this IV, they insert a special needle into your vein. Okay, so the video is perfectly fine. Now, I actually have used AI, in this case perplexity, to transcribe the video and recreate or you know, I would say recreate the other version of the script. And this is the one that he gave me. So I'm going to copy it and I'll paste that into this area. There you go. Now, do not click the play button yet, because if you do that, then 11 Labs will start generating voice based on the content that you have provided. So just don't click the button yet until you are ready to actually creating the voice or creating the speech. Here on the right side, you can select the voice that you want to use. And let me just change the voice into somebody else. Let me try uh, maybe using, let me see, there is, uh, let me try Sarah. Like save and just wait for a few more seconds and there you go. Now, let me introduce you a few things that you can do with this voiceover tool. So here, uh, there is this insert break button and that's basically a pause that you can insert in the middle of the video or in the middle of the speech. You can change the duration between one second up to three seconds. And also, uh, there are some other menus that you can access. You can insert, let's say music, you can insert a sound effect it is also a possibility and you can even add some caption into the video so yeah that's actually a unique feature which is very useful if you want to create short form content like uh, youtube short or tiktok content and fortunately we have this caption feature directly available in 11 labs so that's something that you can do now i guess i'm ready to create the speech for this video so i'm going to put the playhead back to the very beginning and I will actually, uh, sorry, I'm going to click the video clip and I will mute the video because the video contains narration. So I'm going to change that and just mute the volume. Okay, so let me just click this button and just wait for 11 Labs to create or to generate the speech based on this content. Okay, so apparently it is done. I'm going to click this play button to preview the result. When you get this IV, the doctor places a special needle into your vein. This needle is carefully crafted from a metal that reacts to your body heat. As Okay, uh, apparently it is working. Now, let's say if you're happy with the result, you can click the export button. And for the media type, I'm going to select video. And also you can click export. Then 
you have to wait for maybe a few seconds up to several minutes depending on the length of the content and the double button will appear right here and you will get the mp4 file of the video so the video is going to have the different narration different voice and of course the content will be based on the script that you just provided earlier so that's basically how you can use the a voice over feature using 11 labs i hope you learned something from this video and i'll see you on my next video have a great day